Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be doing the brush draw sharp. So let's go ahead and dive in. Just go ahead and hit general. And let's go ahead and do file, save as, and just call it draw sharp. And just like the video before, we are going to do some sculpting on Suzanne. So let's just click on Suzanne, add a multi-resolution modifier, and let's just subdivide a few times. I'm going to crank it up to maybe five. And there we go. We've got a nice smooth monkey here. And then we can switch on over into sculpt mode. And so now we're going to be using draw sharp. So everybody go ahead and click on draw sharp. And we are going to use this one as well. I'm going to turn on my mirror up here. So just X. And now what I want you to do is just start drawing on Suzanne. So this one, uh, notice right here off the bat, it started going inward. And, you know, I was thinking from the picture here that it was actually going to go up. And you may have this happen sometimes, and I don't know why this happens, but um, sometimes Blender will have it natively to the negative side. So to easily fix that, you can just switch it back to plus. Uh, so keep an eye on that. If it's doing the opposite of what you want, you may have to swip swap these. And then now look what happens. Oh, there we go. So there we go. So now we're getting draw sharp. And these are good for if you're doing like, you know, veins, or if you want to just like make like scars, or any kind of like cool, uh, you know, lines on your designs, you can use this draw sharp. You could also use it, say if we wanted to add wrinkles, you could hold control and do the negative. And looky there, we got little wrinkles that we could do. And then, you know, maybe hit hold shift and smooth those out just a little bit. I did a little too hard. But really what I want you to do is just play with this. See if you can get some really cool, uh, you know, designs on your uh, Suzanne monkey here by just sculpting with only the draw sharp tool. And really this is just getting you used to all the different tools and brushes that we have at our disposal for sculpting. So this one's pretty awesome. So really just, you know, if you want to accentuate lines, or anything like that. You could even increase the size and it's going to give you a slightly different look. You know, maybe you want the, the, uh, the draws to be a little thicker, a little larger, uh, but that is the draw tool and really just have some fun, you know, really just play around with this tool until you feel like you've kind of got the idea down pretty straightforward, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you're already thinking of some cool ideas. You know, maybe you want to give your, uh, put like a branding logo, but like a blender logo on the uh, on the monkey here. You know, now she's been branded with blender. I'll just tap it there. there she goes. Now she's got a, a blender brand. <laughs> Get crazy with it. Get creative, kids. And uh, yeah, so feel free to take as long as you want with that. And then let's jump into the next lesson, which we're going to talk about the clay brush.